So in last lessons, we learned about the atomic mass or average atomic mass, which is the average mass of an atom or of a specific element. So what about the average mass of a molecule, um, so-called molecular mass? So the molecular mass of a molecule is simply defined as the sum of the average atomic mass of individual atoms that make up the molecule. Let's do a question. Let's calculate the molecular mass of a carbon dioxide molecule. So carbon dioxide consists of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. So the molecular mass of carbon dioxide, um, so it's MCO2, um, from the periodic table, the average atomic mass of carbon equal 12.011 Dalton and the average atomic mass of uh, oxygen yeah, is equal to um, 15.999 Dalton. So the molecular mass of uh, carbon dioxide, CO2, is equal to 40.021 Dalton. Um, so that's the molecular mass. What about the molar mass? Molar mass is actually very simply just the mass of a mole of an amount of substance. So say you have one mole of water, then the molar mass of water is simply the mass that um, Na water molecules weigh. So the molar mass is actually about 18.01528 gram per mole. So the unit for molar mass is grams per mole. The symbol for the quantity molar mass is capital M. So um, how do we calculate this number? Now if you try to calculate the molecular mass of water, you will realize that water's molecular mass is equal to 18.015 Daltons. Which is, which is a similar number to its molar mass. And this is precisely how the Avogadro's numbers were designed. The value of the Avogadro's number were chosen so that the mass of, of one mole of a chemical compound in grams is, is numerically uh, equal to the average mass of one mole of the compound in Daltons. So when you want to calculate the uh, molar mass of, of any compounds, just calculate the molecular mass of that compound and then assume that the molar mass will have the same value.